In a blinded prospective study, pre-macro published in the American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology, researchers tested the hypothesis that in cases where estimation of fetal weight needs to be performed, an MRI performs much better than the standard ultrasonogram. The purpose of fetal weight estimation was to follow serial growth and identify fetuses at the extremes, either small or large for gestational age. In this prospective single-center blinded study, pregnant women with singleton pregnancies between 36 plus 0 till 36 plus 6 weeks gestation underwent both standard evaluation of estimated fetal weight with ultrasonogram and MRI. A total of 2,914 women were initially approached, however, results from 2,378 were available for analysis. The findings of the study showed that in singleton pregnancies evaluated at 36 weeks, an MRI performs significantly better than an ultrasonogram for the detection of LGA neonates greater than 95th centile for gestational age. For a fixed false positive rate of 5%, detection rates of birth weight greater than 95th centile by an MRI was 80%, whereas it was only 59.1% using the ultrasonogram. The degree of improvement for MRI as compared to an ultrasonogram was even more pronounced for SGA neonates. Study further showed that there was a significant association between MRI greater than 95th centile and certain perinatal outcomes. The authors concluded that in routine singleton pregnancies evaluated at 36 weeks of gestation, an MRI performs significantly better than an ultrasonogram in identifying LGA and SGA neonates. Further interventional studies based on a more accurate method of fetal weight estimation need to be conducted in order to determine whether this could improve neonatal and maternal morbidity or alternatively whether this could reduce unnecessary intervention such as caesarean sections and induction of labor while maintaining stable neonate and maternal related morbidity. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.